lovely people. Hope you're doing marvelously well. As ever, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get notified when we put out a new video. So, um, there's a company called Sonox, and they have a vocal thickening and a vocal widening plugin. I thought, what better to try would be those two, because you know, one of our more successful videos, both in Pro Tools and Studio One, I believe we have a Logic version and a Cubase, but put it this way, we have various versions of it out there. I thought, well, why, what better than trying out this plugin to see if it can emulate and do the same thing? So I'm very excited, there's two of them. So let's have a quick look. I'm just gonna open them up and have a quick poke around here. So Sonox, here we go. Vo Vox D Thicken. Dum -de -dum 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 -dum. I haven't even opened these up before, so this is like new to me. Okay, so here's the Thicken. Okay, and it's also got a stereo. Ah, so no stereo spread on this one. All right, let's go to Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Sonox down here, and they've got the mono stereo. Aha. So I suppose for me, I don't know if I would put these directly on there. Okay, so this has a width control here. It's a Vox Doubler with a width as well. Timing, pitch, depth, tone. Pretty straightforward. Let's do this. Let's create a separate, let's create uh, a mono auxiliary and a stereo auxiliary. Put them into solo safe. Let's open up the uh, Sonex vocal thickening in mono. And then let's also open up the widening plugin. Okay, so we've got them both open here. We'll name this uh, uh, wide and that one as thick. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna take the vocal. I'm gonna turn off all the other effects. It's been such a long time. So that's a processed vocal. There's some EQ, there's some compression on it. But we've got no other effects on it. Okay, so let's first of all create an input for it. We'll go for seven on the thickening trick, which is a Vox doubler thickener. Okay, so we'll send from the lead vocal here. Here we go. It's been such a long time. Well, it's kind of nice. It, I don't know if it, that's just the default. Ah, now the default went to 50%. I don't want 50%. I'm gonna make it 100%. The reason why I want it 100% because it's not on the actual vocal itself. If you wanna take this plug in and put it on the vocal, by all means do. Personally, I don't do that. I like to have my effects on separate auxiliaries. Okay, so I've got this on. Oh, it says you can go to an auxiliary mode as well which would immediately take it to mix. Okay, so you can either set it to auxiliary mode or set it to 100%, okay. It's been such a long time and Gypsy woman running through my mind It's been such a long time I like it, it's, um, so that's the, that's the default setting. I wanna see if I can reduce the timing a little bit. It's been such a long time and gypsy woman running through my mind. I like that. So what I've done now, I've brought it down to 16%. Um, the pitch as it says it's at 25%. So now it's it's almost like a little bit of a chorusing. It's been such a long now bear in mind it's loud. I think in the tracks, have a listen. It's been such a long time. Sounds pretty tasty. It's look, I've I've taken Change two controls and it already sounds good. Been Let's go to pre. So I'm taking my auxiliary send and I'm making it pre fade. What does that mean? It means I can mute it and just listen to the effect. It's been such a long time. And gypsy woman running through my mind. It's been such a long time. Give me a kiss and then left me behind. It's kind of fun. Oh, she leaving. It's been such a long time. And gypsy woman running through. Tone's kind of nice. So if you just wanted to use it to thicken underneath, like it is, but maybe just try some low end. So let's have a listen to the track. It's been such a long time. 
too bright like that and immediately t all the T's and the S's. That's horrible. If I click on here using option, it's going back to default. He's been such a long time Gypsy woman running through my mind He's been such a long time Death is kind of fun. Okay, so it sounds good. It does sound like a slightly wrong double, which is good. He's been such a long time Gypsy woman running through my mind I actually kind of like, it says too loud there, so that's a nice little indicator, so we'll bring down the send. Okay, so what I kind of like about this is I've now detuned quite considerably. Um, the timing's a lot closer, so it's a little bit more like a double, you know, a sung to double, but I'm going to bring it down, so I'm going to bring it down a lot. It's been such a long time. Take it out. Gypsy woman running through my mind. Put it back in. It's been such a long time. Turn it up. Give me a kiss and then let me behind. It's been such a long time. You sing. Gypsy woman running through my mind. Bring it back in. It's been such a long time. Give me a kiss and then let me behind. I like that. I like it. I personally like using a lot of effects on a vocal not very loud. You'll notice if you watch any of my other vocal thickening tricks or any of my, you know, using distortion, using octaves, using, I use a lot of different things, but quite quiet just to kind of add some hair to it. You know, give the vocal a lot of, the more Foda is a favorite plugin of mine that adds some breath. There's lots of good, but this is really cool. I like this a lot. Okay. So next up, we'll use the same send just because it's easy. Um, oh, you know what? No, we won't. We'll use a stereo send. We'll go nine and 10 because it's a stereo. Plug in. All right, so 9 and 10. Interesting. We go to 21 and 22. And input this at 21 and 22. Okay, they're both black. All right, so sending to that. It's been such a long time. And gypsy woman running through my mind. Went to auxiliary mode. It's been such a long time. Give me a kiss and then let me behind. Pre. It's been such a long time. And gypsy woman running through my mind. I like that. It's been such a long time. Give me a kiss and then let me behind. It's been such a long time. And gypsy woman running through my mind. It's been such a long time. Give me a kiss and then. This is much something I might use on a chorus to give it some, you know, totally different feel. But... It's been such a long time. Like totally over the top here. I think even brought down it'd be too much for me. But maybe if I went to that da da ah da 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 kind of section, like here, let's just turn it all down before it. Go to this chorus here. So bring it down about here. She's a gypsy. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Gypsy love. Yeah. A little less, but you see it. She's a gypsy. Yeah. I like that. That's great. So, so that's just a quick and easy. Put it onto auxiliary mode because it's on an auxiliary, not on the vocal. If you wanted to put it direct on the vocal, not that I do that, but if you did, you've got a mix control so you can blend in the effect. You've got timing again, you've got pitch again, depth, and tone. You've got the same, same basic um, controls that we have on the vocal thickening here, but we can adjust the, uh, the width dramatically. She's a gypsy. Both together. So pretty tasty idea. I like it. I like it. I particularly like that uh, stereo, that widening. She's a gypsy. That's nice. I think what I might do, do, even though I'm compressing and EQing, I would probably, for me, send it something even more compressed beforehand. Let's go for something super generic. Well, you know what? 
Let's do this. You have a dynamic EQ. She's a gypsy. Oh. Oh. And gypsy in love. And gypsy in love. And gypsy in love. How good She's is that? She's a gypsy of love. Oh, and all bets are off. She's a gypsy. And gypsy in love. And gypsy in Ah, uh, all bets are off. What a wonderful tool. All right, that's a whole other discussion. Okay. <laughs> so what do we have? We have a vocal widening and a vocal thickening plug in here, both of which sound absolutely freaking awesome, are quick and easy to use, and used subtly in the right position are going to really help your vocal stand out, especially like in that chorus. Let's just watch it go from that. Here's a verse. Oh, you know, I'm going to put in the vocals as well. Vocal effects. Oh, she She's a gypsy. Yeah, yeah. Gypsy love. Yeah. It's great. Really good. So, what's wonderful about this is not only are they quick and easy to use and sound really good, is they're giving us to give away for free. So, of course, as ever, you can sign up down below for the free giveaway. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please, as ever, subscribe, hit the notification bell, enter the competition, and have a marvelous time recording and mixing.